perfect so we are recording so i'm here with kim thank you so much for joining me thank so, you. <laughs> kim is kim is here um as one of the first female artists that i met in hong kong so yeah. thank you so much for meeting me today again i got a very beautiful absolutely stunning card from kim she's doing a handmade uh like a chinese cat yeah. uh cards fortune yeah where, where did the idea came from uh originally start in japan yeah oh. the manaki cat and then you know it was so famous around uh you know hong kong and then also to china yeah oh. so uh this is white color cat uh, it's beautiful yeah yeah, yeah. it Love has that. all the meaning like um for purity and for uh, good health prosperity like mm. that but if you get uh, the other colors then it's uh, just single meaning oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this one is combination of all those cats amazing yeah yeah I absolutely love that I'll definitely share a picture <laughs> um, so I was wondering you work as a full-time artist in Hong Kong yeah really yeah. and where do you think uh, is your biggest inspiration coming from when you start your day where do you yeah. think for me when I was a kid I am always so fascinated with the Japanese culture you know the kimono yeah, yeah. so and I I went to read about the kimono and the different meaning of all the animals on their their kimono design and also the colors mm. yeah so if you are wearing the red kimono it symbolizes uh, strong and youth mm -hmm. and usually young girls they will wear the red one oh. red color one if the older women the one that are married already they will wear like dark blue or gray yeah okay. and then they will have a different design oh yeah. interesting so it is the Japanese culture that inspires you as well. Yeah. And you're also half Filipino and half Vietnamese. Yeah. Is that also culture that influences your art as well? Um, I think maybe more with the Vietnamese culture because my mom is Vietnamese. Mm -hmm. And then I think because maybe I have to spend more time with her. Mm. And my dad always is not around. So... So me and my brother, we become more closer to Vietnamese culture mm. because my mom always cooked Vietnamese food, you know, and have like Vietnamese uh, books in the house. Mm. But we don't even uh, speak so much Vietnamese. Okay. Yeah. So how did you make your way to Hong Kong? Oh, okay. It's like this. <laughs> I was born in <coughs> I was born in Laos, mm -hmm. and my mom. Her parents had to escape the war, the Japanese war, so they must move to Laos. They go on foot. So then after that, they just settled there. Then my mom was born in Laos. Mm -hmm. And then my dad, he was from Philippines. He had to work with the, with the band. They mm -hmm. go and play for the American soldiers in Vietnam before. Mm -hmm. I think this was in the late 60s. Wow. Yeah. Then after that, when the American, uh, I think the soldier's gone, mm. then he moved to Laos, so he met my mom there. And then from from there, I was born there. And then after that, we have to leave Laos because, you know, the communists was coming in, mm. right, in the, like, 70s. Mm. Mm. So, um, and then, and my mom, she doesn't have passport or any document, so... Then my dad said, "Okay, okay, never mind. Um, we will, we will help you get Philippine passport." Wow. So, so you know, the embassy they gave us a big favor. Even though my mom is not Filipino, they gave her the citizenship right away. Wow. And then we can get out of Laos. Then we went to Thailand and Thailand to Hong Kong. Wow. Yeah. That is quite a story. Yeah. Wow. They call me. Incredible. Yeah. So I'm sure like this massive history was also shaping your artwork as well because I saw that yeah. 
you're very much fascinated in those beautiful figurines that you draw as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're so soft and so aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. And very bright. Yeah. Uh, so where, where did these, uh, where did this inspiration came from to start drawing like Japanese figures? Yes, I have had so many Japanese classmates in school oh, okay. and you know first first time I saw the sushi uh, I thought <laughs> it looks so stupid <laughs> what's that but then I try it's like oh yeah it's very interesting and then I also get confused because you know the the Koreans they also have like a sushi but they call it kimbap yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so at that time I had like very close Japanese friends and they, <coughs> they were always so smart at school. So I was like, oh my gosh, the Japanese people are so smart. <laughs> <laughs> and then I say, man, okay. And my, my, my other, t my best friend that time, you know, we were like, we must go to Japan. I said, yeah, I know. We should like save our money. We go to work, save our money, and then we go there. But, you know, that was kiddie thing and teenagers thinking, right? We just yeah. want to go there, but we never thought, okay, we go there and then what? Yeah, <laughs> what are we going to do? <laughs> yeah, we don't know what to do. So now, we, but then we never go. Oh, you never went? Yeah. Wow. Well, I, I went later with, you know, my fam fam family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but with my best friend, we didn't go. Aww. Yeah. So how did you find Japan with your family? Was it exactly um, how you expected it to be? Uh, no. No? Like, you mean when to go to Japan? Yeah, if when you went to Japan with your family, like later on. Oh yeah, later on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was so amazing. Like, um, I I was so fascinated with the technology they have and mm. the infrastructure in Tokyo. Mm. And then we went to also uh, Osaka. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then Osaka is not so modern as Tokyo, but still modern. Mm, but mm. and and then I find out that the people there are so polite. Sometimes too polite, you know. Yeah. Like if you go down the steps to the to the train station, it's so quiet. Everybody's so quiet. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then you know. I was telling my husband, I say, you know, the railings in Hong Kong, they used to be so high, mm -hmm. but people still jump over. <laughs> and then in Japan, the railings are so low, no one jump over. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He said, yeah, they're very obedient. Yeah. I said, yeah, <laughs> they are so, uh, like, very structured, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. It's kind of like a common knowledge about Japanese being very much on, like, yeah. yeah. On, on, the, on the routine and behaving very well and yeah. being the good citizen, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> but yeah. And I said, oh, maybe Hong Kong people can learn a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think at the end, the Hong Kong people's funny. I like them too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a, yeah, it's so yeah. true. I'm, I'm so much in love. Like every single yeah. day, there is something that proves me about Hong Kong girls being. Yeah absolutely incredible people yeah they're not too strict you know yeah like, i think japanese are so strict when i went to you know visit them and then and then i see the hong kong okay maybe they're more relaxed here <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah and then so now i'm i'm very fascinated with uh, chinese culture mm -hmm. yeah because you know i think because my experience you know the japanese are uh, maybe too strict Mm. And then the Hong Kong's more like relax, and also the culture here is not, it's not too bad. It's also very rich. Yes. Yeah. Mm. They have a lot of things like the food and the fashion and then the history mm. and so many things. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So would you think that um, when it comes to women in Hong Kong, do you yeah. think that they are um, having the freedom? to be able to express themselves yeah now they have more freedom than before in and my opinion why do you think is that um before when i was younger mm. um you always can hear you know the, the wife always get beat up <coughs> beat up and then you know or uh, 
if she get divorced she get nothing and then the husband sometimes he can have two girlfriends on the side and I thought it's not so good and then and then he don't care about the family but but I think now it's changed like, mm. yeah because now the women get more opportunity to work than before mm. Mm. you know before in the 60s 70s is very hard yeah but 80s 90s is much much better for the women and then also now it's, it's much better mm, yeah. yeah absolutely yeah. possibly also um i think being a little bit more entrepreneurial yeah and especially when we come back to um you know the art industry as well maybe yeah. to be able to actually sell their expression to other people and people yeah. buying it from them as well yeah yeah i think hong kong is becoming um very open to all of these opportunities but i still had a little bit of that feeling that it's still men always out there yeah. and i feel like women need to be heard a little bit more yeah uh, what do you what do you think about it do you think that you're being recognized as an artist enough here um not so because <coughs> when i joined some artist group before mm -hmm. i get to join them because i'm half filipino so i joined the filipino art group they're nice. all men i'm the only woman mm. yeah and then and then they 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 send some you know some uh, information to galleries and then the galleries uh, you know they check the name and the art and then i got picked by one of the gallery together with my friend oh, nice. and then i was so happy but then later I found out they thought I was a guy because they thought uh, my official name is Chirito. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they thought Chirito was a guy. And so when I went to the gallery and then there's like, oh, who are you? I say, I'm Chirito. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought we, you were going to be a guy, not a girl. <laughs> I said, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. And did they like, were they like nicely surprised or were they like kind of like holding back? Yeah, I think they were nice surprised. Okay, yeah, because they also had other female artists mm. that they represent. So they represented me for a few years, mm. uh, but but the curator he died, so they closed down the gallery. Really? Yeah, it was called Asia Fine Arts. Oh, yeah. Wow. So you know, they were so nice. They helped sell, you know, many of my paintings. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's incredible. Oh, yeah. sorry to hear about its closing. Have you had a chance to? exhibit in with other galleries as well? Um, no, not yet. Because I was always moving, went to Thailand, mm. and then I went to Canada six years, and then I come back again. Oh, yeah. I see. How was, it, how was it living in Canada for you as an artist? Oh, yeah. Um, because we moved to a small town. Mm -hmm. So when I had my first exhibition there, it was then everybody was so excited that they were talking about me because they never seen a figuring, painting, you know, kimono style and all. And so after that, I get a lot of uh, exhibition done. Mm. And I sold very well in Canada. Wow. Yeah. And I didn't need the gallery to help me sell. I just sell directly. Wow. Yeah. And then there was this... Um, Bistro, pub, you know, restaurant. They, they, they said, "Oh, Kim, you can put your artwork here and you can sell." And they didn't get any commission, oh. zero. Yeah. Mm. yeah. As long as we go eat there all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we always go eat there. Oh. <laughs> what did they cook? They had a very good salad, the kale salad, and then the chicken, and they have um, some nice pasta also. Burgers, very nice burgers. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah. And the good French fries. You know the the real French pot, French fries, potato one. Yes, I've yeah, heard about the cut, Canadian ones. Yeah, they cut and then they fry. Wow. Yeah, like Amazing. homemade, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so different. Yeah, yeah. Like the McDonald's one. Oh no, yeah. not comparable. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. So after Canada, you exhibited and you sold a lot of work and then you yeah. came back to Hong Kong again yeah oh, wow. and then after that I came back 2018 mm -hmm. and then I went to see my 
dad in the Philippines stay there one year we stay in the island where mm -hmm. my dad come from and then we built a beach house and then in 2019 we came back here mm -hmm. and then of course my husband went back to work and then you know <clears throat> you have the crazy protest <laughs> Oh my gosh, that one, yeah, it's like killing the economy. Yep. And then after the it's after the place. protest, it became COVID in yeah. 2020, right? Yeah. Then until now, oh my gosh. And then I was looking at, you know, like there was a gallery in Cat Street. It's called Cat Street Gallery. Oh, okay. It's yeah. closed down. Oh. Yeah, and some other galleries that I used to know, they have the Jamming Gallery. Also, I don't know where it went. I can't oh, find yeah. it. Oh yeah, I've heard about jamming gallery. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Means you can go there and then you can paint and jam with the other artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. heard yeah. about it. Yeah, I don't know where they are now. Interesting. I don't know if they close or they temporary close. Or, oh. Yeah. I'll have a look into it. Yeah, because yeah. I wanted to go anyway to kind of like see yeah. what is it about. Wow. And then, have you heard of the French Club? Uh, no, I haven't. Yeah. No. Um. I used to have, I, I had a exhibition there a long time ago, I think it was I think 2007 mm -hmm. with my one girlfriend, right? And then I just received, you know, they always give you a monthly email, so I received that they're calling for artists, oh. that any artist in Hong Kong to, to have an exhibition there. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. How long, how long ago it was that? was last week oh last I, week yeah i saw wow. the email i got the email did it are you gonna yeah. apply yeah I, I one thing is i don't have paintings yet it's all in philippines in oh. the beach house oh no yeah i'm gonna tr have to start making new ones yeah yeah that if might I, be yeah. good motivation yeah because you know they're trying to <clears throat> i think they're trying to revive the art scene again here mm -hmm. in hong kong yeah. They used to have like art basil or you know, affordable art here. Yeah, yeah. I I saw that there was one affordable art um, in August, I think, this year. But I missed it because I yeah. arrived in like end of September. So I was yeah. like, oh, that's such a shame. I really would love to go. Wow. So yeah. is it um, obviously like after the protests and after pandemics, is it really hard to come back in touch with the galleries? I think so for yeah. me because you know first of all um, it's very hard to get into the gallery here in Hong Kong mm. yeah and a lot of my other artist friends they you know they try to get in but it's so hard so what happens is the group that I used to join with we will all gather together and then the leader of the group he will find some area and then the Hong Kong government will sponsor that group oh wow yeah you can get uh, some uh, Hong Kong government to sponsor you know the event yeah. amazing yeah you can wow. call any any title for the event mm -hmm. and then and then they will help give the money and the space so we had uh, the exhibition at the Cultural Center. Oh wow! Jim Sachui, nice. and then the Hong Kong uh, Art Museum here at mid level. Oh, yeah. Hong Kong. Oh, that one. Yeah, I didn't yeah. go there yet. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Wow. So, That's really good that the government actually works like that. Yeah, right. you can um, you can ask the Hong Kong government to you know fund some of those events. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. Sounds like a great opportunity. Yeah. Hopefully we'll pick it up then after yeah. after the pandemic yeah. is going to be a little bit more over. Yeah, if we can get together about seven, eight different artists mm. together and then we have like signature and, um, you know, um, we, can, we can try to get the event. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully with Creative <laughs> Women in Hong Kong, we will be able to do that. Yeah. If we're going to bring all of the heads together, maybe that would be possible. I maybe. remember. This is so funny, the incident. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because I do oil painting. Yeah. So we were having the exhibition at the Hong Kong Art Museum up yeah. there at mid-level. 
and then one of the guys say hey did you finish your painting yet i say yeah 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 i have one painting it's like almost finished and then i took the painting and to the exhibition but it was wet right and i even even i put the sign don't touch it this is wet yeah and it's a very bright red you know yeah. And the people, they, they never read the sign. They go like so close and then they got paint on them. And I say, this oil paint is very difficult to wash off. Yeah. And then my, my group was like, you know, saying, oh my gosh, you victimized some of the clients, some <laughs> of the people. <laughs> you left a mark on them. Yes. You know, they're going to remember you forever. <laughs> I got this, this red paint yeah. from this artist. Amazing. Yeah. That must be a secret message, you know. Yeah. Symbolic. Yeah, and then they said they never see an artist that do that. They bring a wet painting. <laughs> secret weapon. Yeah. How to, you know, create an influence. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh. That's so cool though. Yeah. Oh, that's very memorable. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh. So, you know, I, I know some of the other female artists. Amazing. I can, I can like introduce you to. Yeah, I will call them and, you know, let you contact them. I would love that. Yeah, yeah that yeah. would be fantastic. 100%. Mm -hmm. And then we can start doing um, some kind of like a sit down, so we drink and yeah, kind yeah. of do like a regular yeah. meet up and yeah. exchange all of the memories. So I actually wanted to ask like, so, you mentioned that you might have to create some new paintings. So what do you think that you will be painting in the future? Um, this time, I've been thinking about what I want to paint. Hmm. Then I was thinking more of, because now I'm into spirituality. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking maybe I should do something about spirituality. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, what kind of spirituality? Yeah, like, um, I've been very curious about the pineal gland. Oh, okay. Yeah, here. Yeah. And then I've heard about, like, you can you know, open your third eye. I don't know if it's true, but yes. I'm so very, very interested in that. Mm -hmm. And I've read, I've read some stuff, and some people say, yeah, when you open your third eye, you become more sensitive about what's going on around you and you can see a lot of things like more clearly yes yeah yeah absolutely yeah. i actually um do kind of like a freelance yoga teaching as well oh yeah yeah, yeah. Um, like yoga like vinyasa and hatha yoga and i'm I will start hopefully soon after yeah. when everything is going to be open to teach in one of the studios yeah. in Sang Pung. Oh, okay. And that's what I'm trying to put on my students as well a little bit to be able to yeah. open up their third eye and also yeah. kind of like be more awake and more yeah. observing of their area, the people, the energy that circulates around their body and what is it doing to yeah. their mind as well. So. Yeah, I, I know one of the girls, she's here, uh, she does like spirituality, uh, dance and yoga and all that. Oh, amazing. Yeah, and she's from Canada. Wow. Yeah. I should introduce to you. Yes, please. Yes. I went to one of her class. Oh my gosh, it's so emotional, her, her class. It's like, I don't know, but you know, she made everybody cry. I don't know how did they. I don't know how she did that. Wow. But the girl next to me was crying then. Because she was crying, I was like starting to cry. And then this girl here, she cried. And then I think it's because um, she was also explaining that, you know, we shouldn't compare ourselves to other women. And, and it's all women. This is a group, only the women. And then I said, oh yeah. And, and then I thought, yeah, why, why do some women have to compare themselves to other women? Yeah. Then, then you will lose your uniqueness. Yeah. 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 Absolutely, that's so true. Because of, it's, I feel like women compare themselves only because of men. Yeah. Because of their influence and maybe their expectation as well. Yeah. 
but I don't know that's just me yeah that's a big conversation about that that can be done for yeah. sure but I know you were like this girl um she's all well, she's also an inst- on Instagram oh nice I can I wonder if I can share her page to you yeah to image. absolutely yeah, yeah yeah should be should be super easy I think yeah yeah and she you know she also lives in Moiwa and when she came to visit my house she just she just walked on bare feet and oh, I said oh what's that she said to be grounded oh yeah that's I said, oh yeah grounded yeah working barefoot yeah. is uh is very important we yeah. always have a tendency to wear shoes all the time and yeah we barely take them off on it when we're at home yeah. so that's so true yeah beautiful so one more question I wanted to ask you is that what do you think that Hong Kong holds for female artists? Hong Kong? I think have a lot of room to like potential for the women to uh, like you know emerge in the arts in the art scene. Yeah. Yeah because um, sometimes even if you know maybe if they can't draw or paint but they have some kind of idea mm. and and I see some paintings like it doesn't have to be like so perfect but you know you can you can put the colors or or some shapes and then you can have a written uh, like a small written sentence about mm. what how you want to feel about your art why you do this yeah yeah I think it helps a lot mm. and I think the women can express themselves like that mm-hmm. like uh, on Friday I have one another artist girl um, she's Australian Chinese and she will come over and then we will do some kind of painting art on Saturday morning yeah beautiful yeah wow let me know when you're gonna do that next time I would love to join oh yeah yeah okay. yeah just okay. kind of like some abstract art and everything yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh that sounds so much fun oh that was beautiful thank yeah. you so much okay this is